Hi, the PDF Butter components are great, but in certain cases, you want to have more dynamic uh, possibilities to actually take the doc configs or the packs that you want to have regarding to your record that you're working on. For instance, here I'm working on an opportunity and I want that this info, that these doc configs are actually defined maybe depending on the stage of my opportunity. What you want to build as logic, you can choose for yourself because we actually are using Salesforce flow for you to build that kind of logic. So we're going to create a flow and the flow has to be an auto launched flow. So we're going to have to select the data that we're going to show into our overview of doc configs and maybe packs linked to those doc configs. All of this can be now configured via this flow that will actually define what do you want. Like I said before, the logic that you want to have in there, that you want to have a support that which uh, the configs can be selected, which is the packs that you want to select, which is the alternatives or the locale that you want to set, all of that can be defined by any flow uh, capabilities that Salesforce supports. Obviously, you want to know from which record that you are starting. So what you have to do is create an Apex defined variable. That's very easy to do. You can just say new resource. I'm going to create a variable. The variable name has to be called input. In, look at the, uh, the first letter. It's a lowercase i. So everything is in lowercase in this, uh, in this uh, overview. We're going to say that it's an uh, Apex defined. And then we're going to use the class component data by flow input. So this is the class to use. Obviously, I already created this one in this example. So as you can see, all of the things are set. Very important as well, you have to make it available for input. If this checkbox is not checked, you will not have access to any data that is set when calling the flow. So we can now use this data just like this. We can just say here, for instance, I want to uh, get the opportunity object and I'm going to filter on the ID and the ID is going to be the input dot record ID. So that's the field to use directly from the input variable that we have just created. So now I can get my opportunity information, all the stuff that I need from there. In this example, I'm actually getting doc configs, as you can see here. And then I'm looping through the doc configs because I have a list, as you can see, a collection variable called doc configs. Look at uh, how it's written. It's lowercase doc, uppercase C, and then configs. Eh? So doc configs. It's of type text. It allows multiple values, so it's a collection, and it's available for output. So this is a variable we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, pre-fill, and then we're gonna send it back to uh, PDF Butler, so PDF Butler can take this information and show it inside the component. I collect a set of doc configs, and then I'm gonna start looping through it. How you collect these doc configs, that's your own decision, of course. This is just a flow. So in this case, what I've done is I just said, well, I want to have a certain custom field that I've set on my doc config. So I created a custom field here, as you can see, uh, and I checked it. So all the ones that are checked, that's the ones I want to select here in this configuration. How you want it, that's your own choice. This is how I did it for this setup. Now I'm going to loop through all the doc configs, and as you would expect, I will just take my list doc configs, and I'm going to use the add operator to take uh, to set the ID. Uh, as you can see here, the ID of my doc config uh, towards the list of doc configs. So I'm going to add every ID of every doc config that I have selected. I'm going to do the same for the packs. I'm going to loop through the packs. I'm going to uh, do the assignment. Say, okay, this is called previewer pack IDs. Uh, it's uh, the exact same thing, uh, same variable as for the doc uh, the config IDs. So this is the ones that uh, that are used to actually set the previewer, uh, the packs on the previewer. So when you see the previewer, that's the one over here. Oh. If you would see the previewer, then you would see the doc configs or the packs being set over here. So in this case, let's take another one, which probably has a, a pack. See, this one has the mail pack uh, linked to it. Okay, so let's go back here. 
Uh, I'm gonna take a look at my previewer packs, look at how it's written, that's very important, it has to be exact. It's gonna be a type text, it's again a uh, collection, and it's available for output. We also can uh, have set the alternative, set the locale, yeah? uh, if required, of course, if you say, okay, I don't want to set an alternative, I don't want to set a locale, that's perfectly fine, but you can set it. And these are two variables, alternative, text, this is not a collection, so uh, don't, do not check this one. It's again available for output. And then there is locale, which is also type text available for output. So, okay, there is one more. It's called pack ID. Oh, it's a variable. The name is pack ID, like this. Data type is text, and it's available for output. So uh, sometimes you might want to just show a pack inside the doc config component over here, uh, instead, uh, uh, instead of uh, showing all of the different doc configs, you might just want to show a pack directly. Uh, instead of showing the previewer. But then you can set the pack ID as well via the configuration. So that's it from the uh, setup part. So from the flow part that you can do. Now, uh, when you go inside the configuration screen, uh, the edit page, if you look at this component, you will see there is no doc config set. There are no uh, local sets. There is no uh, pack IDs, previewer actions set, nothing is set. The only thing that is set is a flow name. So we're gonna take the uh, uh, API name of the flow. You can get the API name of the flow by clicking here and then copying the flow API name directly from here. So this is the API name and that you have to fill just where it says flow name. And then it will take run this flow, take the data and display it inside this uh, this overview. You can do uh, absolutely the same for the previewer, as you can see right here. So in the previewer, uh, we don't set any doc configs, nothing is set. The only thing that we set is our, uh, yeah, this is another flow. This is a previewer flow. So uh, this one, not sure. Yeah, this is this, uh, this flow over here. So it's a previewer flow. I have a different flow for the, uh, for the two components. And in this flow, you can also, uh, sorry, in this component, you can set also just the flow name to define all of the variables that you want to have. So now you don't have to play around with maybe vis visibility settings to have multiple, uh, f uh, to have multiple components depending on certain settings on the, uh, to show on the screen or to show the right doc configs. You can all configure this via a flow.